started. Does anyone want to get out? Welcome to the free show. Gap up, that is woe. Hope you enjoy the ride. Welcome to the free show. We got horns and halos. We ain't afraid and we ain't buying a lie. Eat it, drink it, think it, be it. Breathe it, guess you don't. To the internet. Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day. This will be my review for Batwoman season premiere of season three. So this season kicked off right where the last season left off, which is all the villains in Gotham's tech from the old Batman rogues gallery have just got their tech floating down the river and now Mad Hatter's hat is loose in the city and many other villainous items. This was great because while I had issues with season two, this season looks awesome. So we start out with dealing with Mad Hatter. That was super awesome, super unexpected, super crazy, right? So it was it was awesome. So I love that. Like, so we got Mad Hatter. That was super dope. Um, and how we dealt with her, we broke Alice out of prison. And Alice is a little less involved this season than she was last season, but she's going crazy as usual. So that's been pretty entertaining. Nothing super crazy, but good. Loving Ryan, even though I felt Ryan got sidelined in this episode, I feel there's still some pretty good moments. Luke gets his name as a Batwing from the comics, if you didn't know, and that's awesome. And speaking of Batwing, he is the standout MVP of this episode because freaking Batwing is a badass martial artist in a high-tech suit, and that's how he is in the comics. So super happy that the show is doing that well, and I will be watching more Batwoman this season. Gonna watch episode two very soon. I uh, look forward to more reviews. Thanks, guys. I'm going to give Batwoman season premiere of season three a 9.4 out of 10, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Send it to the internet.